What's up everybody, it's Quantum Gaming, back with another episode. Today we are again looking at the 8 ball pool, my many clap. So, what we are going to do today is, we are going to learn some spin tutorials. And I am going to show you briefly all spin, and how to spin the ball, where to spin it, what happens when you spin it, is it good or bad, if it is, does it improve your game, and etc etc. Okay, so I'm gonna be teaching you that in offline mode so that all of the drones are our own. Okay, so I'm breaking now, right now. And the first technique or the first thing for the spin is the front spin. The first step of the spin or the sub first kind of the spin is the front spin. I mainly use spin to cannon and break and break if I have the first break. So let's break and see what happens. As you can see, all the balls move up the way, out of the way, and sometimes, which is one of the times, the April ball stays in the center. Okay. So now let's try another try another front spin. We'll go with the solids, or I think so. Let's go with the stripes. Okay. I know that is this is important. Show you that you can't do the front spin here because if you do the front spin, the white ball will be completely spotted, so you can do the backward spin. Now, these two spins are the main kind of the spins, really. Okay, these are the root of the spins in 8 ball pool. I think that okay. So, now as you saw, that when I do the front spin, the ball moves forwards and it's moved forwards rapidly, so it is good for canning. canning and it's also good for breaking and other things and secondly it is the best or oh, secondly this uh, i'm sorry the, wait, I'm really short. the backward spin is very good for getting out of snookers and sometimes for cannoning but the main purpose of the backspin is, move, is to move the ball backwards and to get out of snookers and now the left and right spin, the main kind of spins. Let's just try some front spins and back spins to sh brief, uh, so I can describe you how does these spins really work. As you see, saw that I bought the cue ball and the front spin does, that it puts brakes on the backward side of the ball and the ball just moves forward. As you saw, that the ball rapidly touched the sides of the table. So now I'm going to teach you the backspin a little bit more better okay so as you can see if I backspin this it will go straight back but if I can also change the backspin area okay and the only in the bottom corner okay as you saw it turned like a C a half C I mean okay so this was the backspin and let me show you another tutorial this front spin as you can see I can move the cursor in these ways if I move it, the ball will go in the top right direction and if I move it here, the ball will go to the top left direction. The same goes for the back, uh, back spin, bottom left and bottom right. So let's try top right. As you can see, the ball had to go to the right but it went to the top right. A little bit curved, okay? So now, it's time for the left and right spins. I haven't got the proper area and right now. Proper table to show the left and but I will try my best. The first use, which is not a very good use, but what it does is just keep spinning the ball rapidly for some moments, or I think so, two to four seconds. Okay, as you can know. No, the white ball isn't spinning right now. Let's try on a solid ball. Now, let's try on this. Okay. And we will put left spin this time. Okay. Let's try it. Uh, it doesn't really does much left spin, but the main use for the left spin for me is to move the ball a little bit to the left. It doesn't move the ball so much to the left. It does but it, it just moves the ball a little 
little bit to the left or the right, okay? So, I know it doesn't work. So, one more use of this pen is the biggest use, a stun shot. Normally, if you play a stun shot, a stun sh to play a stun shot, we need to get the cue ball and the ball that we need to pot close so the cue ball doesn't go forward and it just stuns there, okay? But if you use the left and right spin, it will just move in a small circle and the ball will rapidly keep spinning. Let me show you if I have both my time and out. Okay, let me show you the cue ball is solid. Okay, let's try this. And it, is, it can also prevent you Take the cue ball if the shot is if the shot is straight in, and if you play the shot the cue, without spin the cue ball is also gonna go in the pot. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is do the right spin and let me show you. No, it doesn't work perfectly like this. We need to get a proper shot and everything else. I know how to get a proper shot. Let me just make out. Okay, so it's a foul and I have the ball in hand. But let me show you now. As you can see, if I play the shot with full force, definitely the cue ball will go in. But if I just do the left or right, let's say right. Okay, if I do the right spin, the ball won't go in. As you can see, the stun shot. I know it was close, so it was really a stun shot from the beginning. So. For one more tutorial, I can also show you again. Okay. Now let's make a again. And now I'm gonna show you with player two with the strike ball. Okay. Now, as you can see, my ball is far away from the ball that I need to hit, so it can't be a stun shot. The fight will go in if I play with full force, but if I put a medium left spin and play with a full shot, you can see that again the shot was stunned. So this is a very good use of the left and right spin and many people don't know about this and I also just discovered it about a few weeks ago and I really like it as it can stun the shot and stun shots are really needed, oh sorry. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and if you really enjoyed the tutorial, please smash that like button and do subscribe to our channel and uh, okay, let I will see you guys later and bye bye, peace out.